first week and that's how I knew that I had a winning routine. Longer hair, a fitter body, I'll do what it takes to have it. I welcome you to the glamorous world of 4C hair, ice vanilla lattes, crop tops, mini skirts, and French tip manicures. You ready? I've never been afraid of hard work a day in my life. Never bet against me. I may not win immediately, but I will win eventually. My 4C hair is my crown and glory. It's what I'm most known for and I have no shame in basking in that fact. It gets longer and thicker every day. I feel sorry for some of you all. You really let other people convince you that your hair can't grow because of its texture. But me on the other hand, I'm out here thriving, doing different chic hairstyles every weekend I go out. I'll show you your potential. Simple, you either love me or you love me. Because I didn't come here to flex and gatekeep. I'll show you what I eat and how I meal prep in order to lose weight quickly. And yeah, I'm a little bit OCD. Lunch, breakfast, dinner, and my little cheat code from my favorite spot. And my luxurious forcey hair that people just can't keep their eyes off of? Don't worry, I'll show you all my tricks to grow it long, thick, and healthy quickly. And yes, I will be going over my workout routine. I'll show you how I burn fat quickly to get my body snatched, honey. So come with me into my world. It's fun here and everything smells like vanilla. If you're sad, you go to the gym. If you're angry, you go to the gym. If you're happy, you go to the gym as well. But what you do not do, you do not do drugs, you do not consume alcohol, and you do not overeat. What's the point of that? Please tell me what the point of that is. Imagine being sad or angry, and then you overeat, or you consume drugs, or you consume alcohol. So what happens when you do those things? Not only are you unhappy, but you're also destroying your health and possibly your appearance at the same time. Some of you may know, and some of you may not know, that I am 100% Nigerian, and I'm very proud of that. I'm not gonna get up here and lie to you and be like, oh my god, I use salad every single day because that is just simply not true. And growing up, I would say that we probably ate about 80% Nigerian food and then like 20% American food. And currently, I would say that I cook about 60% Nigerian food for myself and 40% American food for myself. And you're gonna see that represented when I show you all how I meal prep and what I buy from the grocery stores. All right, so when it comes to my meal prep being one of the things that I really struggled with was eating fruit and vegetables. So what I found helped me the most was to meal prep my fruit and vegetables at the beginning of every single week. That way I can make sure that in the morning after my workout, when I get back from doing my workout, I just go into the fridge and I just pull out the fruit and vegetables that I've already pre-washed and pre-cut cut and it just makes things so much smoother that way I can get like a healthy sugar intake because I'm definitely one of those people that loves to eat candy and it's just like super bad I know I need to absolutely cut it out so I find that when I meal prep my fruit it makes it a lot easier for me to fight my candy cravings and honestly they start to disappear whenever I'm consistent when it comes to dessert my favorite dessert is actually vanilla ice cream but it's so fattening and I also don't like to eat dairy and I do eat coconut milk ice cream but it's honestly just not the same as dairy ice cream but something that I have found that really satisfies me and is very low in calories is coconut milk yogurt and I just absolutely love this vanilla coconut milk yogurt I get it from the grocery store one of my biggest secrets is making sure that I do not eat past 6 p.m. I found out that when I finish eating dinner by 6 p.m. it allows the food to properly digest I right, so something that's really important to me I don't eat a lot of carbs I know fruits are carbs but I'm talking about like bread or like um, potatoes and stuff like that I'm not saying that I cut them out completely but I definitely try to limit them because I found that when I eat those it just makes me extremely bloated and it makes me gain weight extremely fast and when I wake up in the morning the weight just sits on me. Alright so here I am showing you all how I meal prep my dinner and I love 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 this garlic flavored olive oil it's absolutely amazing. I love to drizzle it on my broccoli or any type of vegetable really as well as my salmon and I'm also going to show you all how I prepare my salads. I love to go to Whole Foods for my vegetables. I'm very particular about my produce and as I explained to you guys my fitness routine I'm also going to show you how I make my salads as well. I actually started getting a lot more strict when it comes to my gym routine but here is one rule that I always live by and if you live by this rule I promise you you are going to make progress no matter what. My rule is that no matter what for every day I get on the treadmill for one hour minimum. It doesn't matter if I run, it doesn't matter if I sprint, it doesn't matter if I'm walking the whole time. As long as I am on that treadmill and I am moving for one hour minimum, I am proud of myself. It is consistency. One thing that I noticed was that when I set these super lofty goals for myself, run like four miles a day or sprint for like 30 minutes every single day, it made me dread going to the gym and then I would just like fall off track with it. But when I told myself, you know what, as long as I go to the gym every single day and I'm on that treadmill moving my body for one hour minimum every every single day, that is something to be proud of. And guess what? 
Consistency always pays off in the end. Sometimes I walk and sometimes I alternate between sprinting and walking. I actually don't have a stat routine on the treadmill. It honestly just depends on whatever's on my playlist. If there's like a song that gets me like super hyped, then I'll just turn up the speed on the treadmill and I will start sprinting. I'm only gonna tell you this once. If you like, listen to me. If you don't like, don't listen to me. Don't tell your goals to anyone. Keep all of your goals to yourself. You wanna grow your hair long? Keep it to yourself. You want to lose weight? Keep it to yourself. Even people that you may think have your best interests at heart will project negative energy onto you and this will make you have doubt in yourself. The second that you have doubt in yourself is the second that your dreams and your goals go down the drain. When I first started my hair journey, so many people laughed at me. They told me that I could never grow my hair long. They told me to look at the state of my hair now and be realistic about things. You really need to keep your goals to yourself and I literally had to learn the hard way not to tell people my goals. And guess what? The same people that put me down are the same people that are asking me for advice today. So just know you should always keep your goals to yourself because a lot of times people don't tell you that you can't do something necessarily because they don't believe in you, but it's simply because they don't believe in themselves. And if they don't believe in themselves, guess what? They're not gonna be able to believe in you and they're gonna project that negative energy onto you. And that's really not something that you want. When it comes to growing your natural hair out, the number one thing that you need to do is fix your mentality. If you have a mentality that your hair is inferior or that you are inferior to other people because of the texture of your hair, you are just, you're gonna lose, okay? If you wanna shine like this and you wanna flex like this, you're going to have to get rid of your loser mentality and your inferiority complex if you have one. Look at me. Okay, I need you to understand something. I have 4C hair. Hair is long, it is flawless, it is thick, it is healthy. I can do so many different styles with it. And let me tell you something, if you have type 4B or 4C hair, your hair also has the potential to be extremely beautiful, so don't let anybody discourage you. Alright, so one of the main things that I did that really helped me to grow my natural hair super long, thick and healthy, was keep it stretched a lot of the times. I love wearing my hair in a fro, but I found that when I wear it in a fro or when I wear it in kinky curly styles, I get a lot of single strand knots, and the single strand knots just lead to breakage. And then what happens, my hair would, if I would just do that all the time, my hair would just stay the same length. So on my channel, I love to try out different hair products, but I do have my Holy Girl hair products, and they are from the Herbal Essences line, and I absolutely adore these products. You're going to need a very good deep conditioner, and from this deep conditioner, you should get moisture, softness, and slip. If you're not getting moisture, softness, and slip from your deep conditioner, throw it out, you need a new one, and you need higher standards. Love yourself. Here are a few deep conditioners that I recommend. I absolutely love these deep conditioners. They are tried and true products for me, and they serve me well, and I have very, very dry hair, so if it works for me, I'm pretty sure it's most likely going to work for you as well. Another thing that you're going to want to do, you're going to want to get a very good conditioner and shampoo set. I say set because I recommend buying a matching conditioner and shampoo. I don't recommend mismatching your conditioners and shampoo. I don't understand why people do that because these products are literally formulated to work together. So if you're grabbing products from like different lines and just like throwing them all together, I genuinely think that you're doing yourself a very huge disservice. Okay, also you are going to want to make sure that you get a cholesterol treatment. I find it so crazy that so many people do not incorporate a cholesterol treatment into their routines. Like if I did not have a cholesterol treatment, my hair would be heat damaged and it would just be so much thinner. Cholesterol treatment helps to keep my hair extremely soft and it also helps to strengthen my hair. That way I can retain all the length that I grow. You're going to need to find a go-to protective style that you absolutely love. You're going to need to find a go-to short-term protective style and you're also going to need to find a reliable and go-to long-term protective style. I recommend protective styling long term until you get to your goal and then once you get to your goal then you can actually start doing short term protective styles or just wearing your hair out however you would like to wear it out.